Eva does it better. She does everything better. I'll do that. You're very kind. Not always. You may not believe it, but I can be nasty. Like the other day. We didn't meet the other day. You know who I am? Judson Prentice. You take care of the mills for Mr. Phillips. You don't come here very often, but you and Carol are secretly engaged. You forgot to mention my middle name. I don't know what it is. At least I have one secret from you. Look, I couldn't help listening to you the other day. You didn't seem to care who heard you. That's right. Anyhow, it doesn't really matter to me whether anyone else knows or not. It's Carol who's so dead set on keeping it quiet. Mostly from Eva. I won't tell her, if that's what you're asking me. That's what I'm asking you, all right. Judd, darling, you've come back. You've actually come back. I've just been getting acquainted with your cousin. I didn't see you. You're so quiet, we'll have to put a bell on you. Do sit down, Judd. I've never thought of you as a gentleman. I hope you'll be able to stay with us for a while. I'm spending the night. Avery wants me to go over some business tomorrow. Oh? Nobody told me. I'm supposed to go out to dinner tonight. Isn't that terrible? It would have been nice spending the evening with you. Like old times. The wonderful old times. Jen, you really must learn to join in conversations. Otherwise, you'll give such a mousy impression. But you do look nice in that dress I bought you. Yes, it is nice, Eva. Thank you, but... It's really not like me. Then you'll be like the dress. Nobody wears these things anymore. That's Ty now. He always drives in the back way. Oh, still. Your gentleman caller, Miss Jen. There. <laughs> you go out that way now and have a lovely, lovely evening. And don't forget, smile a lot. Make character with people. How young and lovely she is. Yes, and how you hate her for it. Mrs. Goff, please. Mrs. Phillips calling. She gives the worst dinners in town, serves nothing but health foods. Oh, she's such a hypochondriac. Natalie, darling, the most terrible thing has happened. My dog, Tiddly, you remember. Well, she died in her sleep, and I've been so upset. I'm an absolute prey to disease. Yes, virus, the doctor says. <coughs> what, darling? I can hardly hear you. But I'm determined to drag myself to your party. <coughs> oh, if you really think I should. <coughs> well, of course, if you don't want me. All right. Then I'll go back to bed. All right. Bye now. Now I can stay home and enjoy your company. Aren't I wicked? Yes, as a matter of fact, you are. 